In this video, we'll be looking at mental strategies for subtraction. The strategy I'll be focusing on today is partitioning. So starting with this first subtraction here, I have 45 subtract 23. So I'm going to partition the second number and the 2 I will recognize as 20 because it is in the tens column and the 3 I'll recognize as 3 digits. So I start off with 45 subtract 20 which would give me 25 now when we're learning the strategy we can write it down but eventually as we become confident with it we then no longer have to write it down and we're able to do this strategy of subtracting in our head. So then I'm left with 25 and I need to subtract the three digits. So we break it down into two easier to manage sums. 61 subtract 35. If I partition this, the 3 represents 30 and the 5 represents 5. So breaking it down into 2, 61 subtract 30 leaves me with 31 and then 31 subtract 5 takes me back to 26 129 subtract 18 the 1 represents 10 and the 8 represents 8 digits 129 subtract 10 and 119 subtract 8 and if your child can see how much easier it is when it's broken down into two steps asking them to do 129 subtract 18 no longer appears as such a daunting task. Now this one here 213 subtract 36 so the 3 represents 30 and the 6 is just in the 1's column. So first of all when I look at 213 subtract 30. There's another little mental trick that we can do with the 30 to make this even in our heads appear easier to do. Now if we think about subtraction as taking steps backwards, well if I take 13 steps backwards then I'm at 200. So what we can do is we can break the 30 up into two parts to make it easier to visualize the subtraction. So 30, I can break it up into 13 and 17. Now the reason I'm doing this again is because I can first visualize subtracting the 13 off. So 213, I subtract the 13 and I'm left with 200 and then counting backwards 17 um, off the 200 to 183. So that was the 30, two steps to subtract the 30 if you need it. It's just another strategy you might like to use and then I'm at 183 when I just need to subtract that remaining 6. OK, 
Okay, a couple of strategies there about partitioning and breaking up numbers. I hope you found that helpful.